Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Soylent Green Movie Review. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we post a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media so that others can be just as informed as you're about to be. Now, let's get started. Approximately 50 years ago, in 1973, a movie called Soylent Green was released. This year is its 50th anniversary. It was a dystopian thriller directed by Richard Fleischer and starring Charlton Heston, Lee Taylor Young and Edward G. Robinson in his final film role. It was a science fiction movie about the investigation of a murder in the year 2022, which at the time was a 50-year look into the future. At the time, the oceans were dying. There was tremendous poverty, overpopulation, euthanasia, and the depletion of natural resources. Uh, now, Soylent Green won the Nebula Award for Best Dramatic Presentation and the Saturn Award for Best Science Fiction Film. Charlton Heston played a police detective and his friend was played by Edward G. Robinson. And he was, they're actually, they're both great. When you see Robinson in this movie, you will understand how great of an actor he was even at this late stage of his life. I've seen this movie before many years ago. I loved it then and I like it even more now when I watched it again recently. The first time I saw it, I thought what an incredible science fiction uh, uh, view of the future this is. It's, it's a dystopian view that's amazing and even chilling. There was something about it I could never forget. It seemed to have the ring of truth about it back then. So this week, when I saw it again, I realized why it was so amazing the first time I saw it. The 1973 version of the sets and the scenes in the movie could easily have been filmed in, in 2022 uh, on the streets of New York, Los Angeles, or San Francisco. All the homeless people sitting on the stairs and streets uh, in the movie look just like the current day version of New York or LA, or which, are, which are completely overrun with homeless and drug addicts everywhere. In the movie, you, you needed a passport to go out on the streets, which is similar to what's happening in some places now in real life. In the movie, things like beef, strawberries, and other foods were extremely rare and very, very expensive luxuries. The same thing is happening now around the world with all these supply chain disruptions. In the movie, prostitutes were called furniture because you could hire them and have them stay in your home uh, with you if you liked. Look at what's going on today as prostitution is more common than ever before. It is everywhere. In the movie, law enforcement is extremely corrupt and hated because of it. Look at what's happening in today's society with law enforcement. People are very suspicious of them and they are trying to defund them. But the parallels between the movie and today's real life are striking. In the movie, Edward G. Robinson decides to end his life by going to a euthanasia center. Today, we have people in various countries pushing for the legalization of euthanasia all over the place. What's really strange is that when you watch Soil and Green today, it doesn't look like a science fiction movie at all. It looks like a news story that was filmed right outside in most cities uh, in the US today. It's that crazy and that prophetic. When you watch the movie today, it doesn't feel like a 50 year old film. It looks like a very prophetic film. Let's hope that the ending of the movie doesn't turn out to be as prophetic as well. You should go check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media uh, to help spread the word about the show. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.